Sorry, can I steal her after you're done? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just wait right here. Baby can condos. Huh? Pooping. Oh. Shitting? Are you going downstairs? Huh? You going down? No. We're going to the Alright. Hi. Hey, Ma. What's okay. up? I didn't even look at them. Oh, well, they, they're good? Yeah. I didn't try it, but they look good. I was worried nice. about the glaze. I honestly didn't try it, so they could be shit. They're in the kitchen? Yeah, I put them in a bowl. Oh, Saran wrapped them. She pukes while she eats one. Oh, fuck, I might want Do you want one? Thank you. Stomach. I'll bring one for you. 
so sweet. Oh no. Huh? Oh no. I'm gonna go talk to her. Huh? It's clear she has something. It's Kurt. You okay? You going up? I don't know what Ty said in there. What? He fucked us over. Why? Because he said that he would help you out. What? Give all me out? What about him? That you would vote him out no matter what it was. Vote him out. Never vote him out. No matter what. I never told him that. She said, Ty said that he would vote you out. That he would vote Jenna out. No matter what. If Jenna and Beth are out there together, no matter what happens, no matter what happens, you're staying. I said, no, you better go. Like, no matter what, they are. if I go home, you're fucking following me in there. Because she said, Beth, you cannot leave me this piece. So if you're next to Jet, Jet will go. In every scenario, she said, I trust what Ty said, and I trust what Beaver said. So you're right. Did you say that? Did I say, well, I'll vote Jet out. I never said that. Yeah. Well, what time did you had to say that? I didn't tell her I had to vote. I didn't speak about voting. I spoke about veto. I spoke about veto, not voting. We never talked about who goes home on a vote. We never spoke about voting to me. No. I don't know. When we were having a good talk, the shade of poop. Who? Keeper's up there now. You saw it. What do you think she puts up? She's putting us up. Did you just what say Brayden? I said Brayden. I said, she said, who's the least? Because I was just like, well, who? I have who's the win. least amount of money? So I said, pull up Brayden up. I'll put you up. So are you kidding? I'm not gonna do that. That wouldn't make any sense. I win the veto, pull one of us down, we win the vote. Mm -hmm. I, have to, I have to win the veto, pull one of us down, and win the vote. Mm -hmm. That's it. End of story. Mm -hmm. She said, Everybody has told me that Beth is not coming to her right now. And she said, well, The conversation I had with her in this video got back to her. So one of you two told her. What conversation? Which one? Just about everything she told me about how she wants you two to go. It's a girls game, I never said anything about girls games. The only, girls, the only thing I said about girls game was from, I said from the very beginning of the game. You said you wanted a girl to win. I just said, I think you guys cut me. I don't trust you guys. That's what I said. You said what? I said, I think you guys cut me. Which is what I've been supposed to say. Hmm? I don't know what Kiefer is saying to her, exactly. Oh, the big batteries, and then five minutes you came back. Can I talk to you? Because you saw me talking about it. I said, give me a minute. This is not worst case. We can get out of this still. No. It is absolutely worst case. Why? The point was that one of us absolutely wouldn't touch the lock. Now she's still drinking. We knew that she would do that, though. There's no way she was putting up one of us and not the other. She wants to get rid of one of us. I just riveted it in her head that was so hard that Kiefer is not into her face. What is he saying? I'm looking up. I said, if you think I want to next week not pissed off at you, think again. And she was like, really? You put me up. Like, That's what you're looking for? She was like, you don't have me next week. Then. She's like, okay. It's a must win. Hmm? Yeah. Whatever. I don't know. She spooked. She said, please come back. Cause she had to go to the bathroom, but I just went Did you say you were trying to push for Brady to go up beside me? Just said, no, I was like, no. I was like, if I want the veto, I would leave it the fucking same. I could show you that last day. I would leave Chad up there, and I would leave Brady up there. I was like, just so you know, that doesn't go on my resume. It doesn't go on my Straight up, why would I do that? Why would she put Brady up, Beth? She was just literally considering it. This is the plan I talked to you about. We were supposed to push him hard. Push Brayden up? Why would she put him blood. up? I pushed for Brayden to go up. Yes, no blood. She I doesn't, to to she doesn't, Beth, she doesn't want to put Brayden up. She literally might now. 
Because I was so convincing. You believe that? Like literally the worst attitude you die. She told me she's not putting him up. Of course she told you that. There's a potential though that she could. Chad, for what reason? She doesn't want to fucking get screwed next week. <laughs> like, like if she. Oh, I was gonna. Oh, I was gonna oh. repeat that. I'll come with you. Okay. You about to shit my pants? Mm-hmm. I already went. I need to go. <laughs> talked briefly and then she got did called you, for Wendy's. Did you say anything? I was just, I just was like, I don't want to go on the block. You what? I was just like, honestly, like, I just like don't really want to go on the block. And like, I understand that like, if like you're potentially like wanting to like backdoor Jeb, then like that's obviously an option that like you'll have to think about. And then she was just like, honestly, Brayden, like I'm just waiting for like everyone to come talk to me and I need to make a final decision. You know, this is my HOH, blah, 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 blah. She's like not convinced that I would do it. So like You would do what? Go revenge to him. So oh. she's gonna put me up against him. That's what she said to you? Which means I go home this week, yeah. Why would you go home this week? Well look. Kiefer and Kiefer and Ty keep him. You don't know that. I know, but ultimately right, come on. No, yeah, but I don't know. So like maybe if you went in there and were like, no, Beth is serious, like Okay, I'll do it. Or if you were just like I'll do it. I'll go in there, I don't care. Well, like, you think I'm scared to talk there? The only thing is, is like, maybe Jed wins the veto, or I win. Mm -hmm. Pull ourselves down and keep her up. Yeah. Because that's so kind of like what I was like. Birthday. Yeah, because that's like kind of the more thing that I was like pitching when I was like, I don't want to go up and like, I know you might want to pawn. And then I was like, honestly, I was like, Kiefer kind of did you dirty. You did her so dirty. And He's I was like, like and then he like, I'm just in there chatting because she's kind of telling me that. It'll probably be me and Jed. Mm -hmm. And then Keeper comes in with the battery box. Five minutes later, comes in, can I talk to you? Like, you can obviously see that I'm. And I was like, can you have a minute? Yeah, it's annoying. It's like you had all fucking day. Well, that's what I said. And then I like, like I said, I like pushed like the, you know, like Keeper would be a big move for you in this game. Like, you know, if you put him up, like most people are going to vote him out. You know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, in the event, like if you are going to put Jed right up and then, you know, he wins and he comes down, I was like, then you still have a big target that's going. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like a wasted HOH. Mm -hmm. If like you want to do a big move, yeah. you know? And I was like, I'm really good with Beth. Like, I know that like, obviously like, the girls need to stick together kind of thing. And I was like, I'm willing to ride with you guys, mm -hmm. yeah, you know? Yeah. Literally. And then I was like, Tara, please go to the diary room. Class. And I was like, guts, 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 guts. Whatever. No, it's not whatever, though. Yeah, I'll go in there and talk to her. Yeah. Like, what did she say to you? Like, what she's she... like, you know, I'm a straight shooter. I'm just going to tell you, like, I'm going to pick up against Jed. And then I was like, Kiefer's lying straight to your fucking face, girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, what did she say? Because well, she's like, in every occasion, everybody has told me that they would have Jed out over you. I was like, honey, you're being played. <laughs> like you are. Of course. His children. Of course. She's like, it doesn't mean anything. Promises don't mean anything. To some people, they do. Yeah, of course. But I think to keep her, they do. Yeah. She's like, no, that's not real. I was like, you're being fed a lot. <sighs> I was just like, whatever. I just. I just, I was straight with her, though. I'm like. Well, that's how I'm you like, have you been. You put me out this week. Like, I'm going like, I need to really fight for my life. I'm like, we're not good next week. Of course. We've never been good, but like, <laughs> next to me, we're not good. You can't play. Of course. Like, you was like kind of like your one ally. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But now. Well, yeah, because why would I fuck with her? That person off. Yeah, why would I fuck with her after this? Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'd be like, so now it's me and Tara against all the guys? Mm -hmm. Good. I mean, good. if she puts me up and I stay, mm -hmm. or like, I have like a feeling that I stay, mm -hmm. I'll make it very clear. Like we're done, son. <laughs> we're done, son. Take a seat. 
Yeah. What? No, it's okay. We might as well just wait to see what happens while she do my makeup. But, I mean, I guess best case scenario then, if it is you and Judd, that would give me your time with the Beatle then. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, best case for me is I win the Beatle and then I pull you down. Just needs to fucking know also how sketchy Keith Yeah, 100%. I think that you would get Jed out right now. Why would that be good for your name? Like, Jed sat me down in the kitchen and told me he's winning every single competition from here on out. Mm -hmm. How does that help me in any fucking way? Like, yeah, I want him to stay, like, and love cuddling no. him. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't help me in any way. <laughs> of course I want him to stay. That dick be swaying it, but... <laughs> and I would. Stop. <laughs> Just a fucker. <sighs> I Whatever. I don't remain a good attitude. Of course. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, love. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go talk to her, though. But I need to shit my pants first. Shit, love. <laughs> oh my god, why is every single person I talk to right now I was like, give me a sec? <laughs> like, you were literally the third. I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I literally got up because I was like, my stomach went mm -hmm. on the old gene. I was like, I think I heard that. <laughs> I was like, I need to go. Uh, uh, I love you. Oh my gosh. I don't know when this fucking house wants to play. They float around. It sounds like no joke. No. You want it more than anybody. Yeah, no, no one's being asked in this call. I'll make sure of that. Yeah, me too. It's time to just fucking play for ourselves. It's getting there. We're near the end. We knew it would come to this at some point. Yeah. We just didn't think it'd be now. Yeah. Must win. Mm -hmm. Like I said, if you don't win the must wins, you deserve to go. Yeah, we don't deserve to stay. We can still get out of it though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, nice. Pretty clean. We can. You talk to Tara again since? So let me know if I'm going out before. So talk to her, but yeah. Let me know. <laughs> oh, she didn't tell you what? No, not yet. Oh, I thought, she, I thought you said she did. No, nah, she's like, hinted at it pretty hard. Besides Brayden, <laughs> Brayden's unrealistic. I'd be very surprised if you put up Brayden. Oh, yeah. It just wouldn't make game sense to me. Because when, like, there's a point where like, where you're pushing someone and they're looking at you like, for real. Mm. And if Beth got convinced to put up Brayden, I'd be very surprised. Oh, fuck. I feel like, you, like I, I actually think she does like, need Beth in the future. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know if she would burn it. Like, I just don't know. She needs Beth? No, I think so. Why? Because she's the only one that she's like promised to share with. Who, Tara? Yeah. I don't know. Beth put her on, also put her on the block. I know. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't it's know. like, you know, everyone like, here's done some shit to her. So it's like. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just. If you're going off that, then. Everyone. Everyone should go up. 
Like, it's hard for me to say, like, I don't know mm -hmm. if she feels like she needs better. Yeah, I don't She mean. hasn't made that super clear to me. I just don't know if she, she asked. She asked me, like, if one of you left, who would I rather see stay? And obviously know my answer was. Yeah. But, like, other than that, like, I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what that means. She's like, do you and Jed come after me if Beth is gone? No. <laughs> the fuck am I supposed to say yes? She asked, did she ask you that? Yeah. Fuck. I'm gonna say yeah. Yeah, like... So what, so then she makes you the target? Then again, we control the vote. We control the vote. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Like, at the end of the day. As long as it's just me and someone else, or you and someone else, we're fine. I hope it is. Yeah, I think it's... Fuck, man, worst case scenario, it's one of us. She, she then, wants uh, us, though, because I, mean, I don't know what to do. No, I know, that's what I'm saying. If it's, if it's one of us... If it's one, if it's one of us and that... Case, but if not, I'm terribly stupid to think that we would. That we'd what? What? That we'd what? That we wouldn't. Come for her? No, that we would keep that over, like you. Or me. That we'd keep Beth over you? Yeah. No. Like if Tara thinks that Kiefer is really gonna do that. That's what I'm saying. She's Dumb. I know. <laughs> I think she does. She is dumb. I think she does. That is ridiculous. She would get that out of herself. I know. <laughs> I know this. I already knew how. I already understood his sentiments toward. He her. knows that if I'm gone, he's the number one enemy. <laughs> I know that. That's what I'm saying. There's no way he does that. So she's actually stupid if she didn't for that. That's a thing. That's why I think she'd be hesitant to put her up. Who? Cool, right? yeah. Because she just goes home then. Like, what are you doing then? <laughs> you don't want us to go. Your best bet is to put Kiefer up or something like that, because at least one of the guys are going. But if you put Beth up, she'd go. So she needs to tread lightly with that. The only way to make sure one of us goes home is if we're both sitting up there at the end of the week. And I doubt that's going to happen. No, it's and not. The video gets used in every situation. It will. Exactly. That's the thing. So she's so, not getting one of us. That's what I'm saying. One of us being up, not two of us being up, that doesn't really matter. Exactly. Everybody uses the veto. She's not playing. Exactly. Everybody. And it's like Brayden's, Brayden's more likely to use the veto on Beth than you, even though I know that she will use it on you. But if Beth's up there, he 100% would. Therefore, someone's coming down. But then if you put you up, that'd be fucked. So. <laughs> she put me up? If, if she did. After? Like, yeah, that's fun. Like, like, that's fun. Obviously, ideally, that third person wins the veto. Like, whoever's That's not, what I'm saying. That's, that's why I think it's better if I'm not on the block. Yeah, because then you, you have a way better chance. That's what I'm saying. I that's see. why it makes more sense. I see what you're saying. Because the reality is, she's not putting Brayden up. Like, I don't care what no one tells me. Yeah. Like, it doesn't really make any sense. Like, what could you say to her to convince her that's a good idea? Oh, the blood thing? Yeah, maybe. for longevity like was for her own longevity like putting us two up is not good for her game but then I just said like putting someone like Braden up and then if one of us comes down you put the other one of us up that makes more sense to me but do your thing she just told me to win the veto she was telling you to as well mm -hmm. yeah she's telling us all the same shit man I know I don't know what to believe I know me and you up is not better than you and Beth. Yeah. I know that much. Yeah. You and Brayden are the best case. Oh, yeah. Oh, she'll be able to swing that. I mean, whatever. Like, as long as one of 
Someone's gonna take it off. We're both gonna be here next week. We will. I get out of this. I think we're good. Yeah. I'm confident. One of us will win the veto, man. We will. If I'm not on the block, I'm gonna win the veto. Yeah. No one here can fucking beat us. Seriously. Huh? No one here can beat us. No. We set it up like that. In a must win situation that makes better TV. Exactly. Well, that's when I came down to tell you. She told me you were getting put up against Chad. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And it's because he wouldn't believe that I said she's not going to put me up. He wouldn't believe it. If he would have believed that and gone for Brayden, we'd be in a different situation. He didn't believe that I was good with her. Oh, he didn't believe that you were good with her? No. He said from the start, we're just getting cycled through us three. I said, no, we weren't. So what do you mean? If you would have said what? If you would have went in there and said, like, yeah, put one of me and Jed up and put Brayden up. So lose blood on your hands. Or Kiefer. Go for Kiefer. Yeah. He already had it in his head that us three were getting cycled through, so I bet you his pitch wasn't very good. Mm. Okay. We'll be fine. There's someone in there. You know, I keep her, but I pull him out because he's being sketchy as fuck. <clears throat> oh, shit. It's a meeting. I got you? Yep. Sure. We got the name, hey. I didn't know you were in there. Oh, you just went right in there. I did. And, and he wouldn't leave. Huh? He wouldn't leave. That's such a I was like, hey, <laughs> how's it going? Good. He's just sitting there like. Did Judge just say, can I have What's going on, big guy? I think you know. Same plan. It's about to get spicy. I tried to come at me just now. Hmm? She tried to come at me. What'd she say? She's like, what the fuck did you say to Tara? Or she's coming at you? Yeah. Her whole pitch to Tara was to get Brayden up. Just shit talking Brayden and you. And then, and then she goes to Brayden and says, you gotta get in there and tell her how sketchy Kiefer is. And how Kiefer needs to be on the block to Brayden. She was pissed that I didn't pitch Brayden. She asked me if I pitched him. You told her you didn't? <laughs> Jed's up there now. Let's go chat. Where? Quick, anywhere. Pantry. Pantry. Yeah, she was like, are you kidding? You didn't go in there and pitch Brayden? She's like, I've been there pitching Brayden this and that. She's like, now she wants to put me up. And I'm like, what do you want me to say? I told her, I advocated for myself. I didn't throw anybody in the bus. And then she was, jeez. She's like, I was pushing for Brayden and I'm gonna get her to do it. She goes, you should have been pitching Brayden. She's like, fuck, your attitude fucking sucks. I'm like getting mad at me. And my attitude sucks, I won't pitch Brayden. I'm like, Beth, in what logical sense would it make for her to put, I didn't pitch it because it didn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. And that's what Terry said. He's like, how does it make sense? I couldn't defend, I couldn't pitch that because it makes no sense. That's why I didn't pitch it. it. Makes no sense. No. So she, yeah, she got mad at me and like stopped and just stormed off. And I'm like, 
Kate Bath. Sick. So you're comfortable with every scenario in which you're not on the block. But as soon as you're pitched on the block, now you're cheesing at me for not pitching me. When you came to me this morning and told me it was probably you and Jed going up, you seemed pretty comfortable with that. Now that's you, look at you. You're running around telling everybody to do things. It's a, it's a shit show. It's a shit show. These non-backdoor, backdoor plans in the final six, like we're dumb, we ain't talking to each other. Beth. It's a shit storm. I'm ready for her to come at me. I'm just gonna say, Beth, this, we're in the final six, like you're still playing like we're in week three. Like, everybody's talking. And only a couple stories aren't lining up. Go play for that veto. End of story. When you guys gotta go this week. She was, story, you need to talk to Tara again, because, me? Wow, eventually, because Beth was shit talking to you like crazy saying in there. what? Saying that you skated by, that me, you, and Jed have a final three, that it's going to be the biggest mistake, that me and Jed are just carrying you so we can cut one another at the final three and take you. <laughs> saying that Ty's done nothing, all this crazy shit. <laughs> and then she comes and gets mad at you? You're not saying that shit about Beth. I'm not saying that shit about Beth. I'm literally like, Terry, you got a tough, easy decision here. I support whatever you want to do. I literally said to Terry's face, if it's me you got to put up, it's me who's got to go home. She's like, Kiefer, I'm not fucking putting you up. Quit talking like that. It's like, well, there it is. What am she I supposed to do? She pretty much said the same thing to me. She goes, I don't want to put you up. You don't have to. She's been just scared of me. She's like, you know. She's just trying to scare her. Brady went in there, and he was just like, He's like, oh, Beth is pissed. He's like, it's all smoke and mirrors. I really think if Beth won, she would come for me anyways. No matter, no matter the scenario. But she ain't gonna win. No, she's not. turned on you quicker than they turned on me, Ty. It's okay. Expected that. You're playing dirty. You're playing so dirty. I don't know what Jed's saying. But probably the same shit that Beth is saying. Yeah, but he didn't talk to her before he went in. So it's probably not going to line up as well. Oh, really? He just went up. I was talking to Jed. Not What's her. Jed saying? Jed's just like, I'm like, Jed, you think it's better? If me and you were on the block, how? I'm like, I think it's good if, if I pitch Brayden. How does that make sense? You're telling me that Brayden's going to use the veto on me and that I'm pitching him? Does that make any sense? Yeah. No. She's like, and he's like, well, Brayden probably uses the veto, veto on Beth over you. I don't think he's right about that either, but I didn't say anything. Cool. Don't me, go. you, and Bray just got to stay strong. I know, and we will. She's so fake, my gosh. I've been saying, you've been saying. I always said, I said she's good, she's ruthless. Listen to her laughing. I'm trying to laugh up with Brady and try to make it seem like, oh, we're good. Tara literally just said everything verbatim that Beth said bad about Brayden. And it was some kind of, it was kind of harsh shit. She's like, what did Brayden pitch to you? And Tara's like, no, he hasn't really said anything. And was like, exactly, he's skating through this game. He doesn't fucking deserve to be here. And Tara's like, that kind of hit Tara because she was told she didn't deserve to be here. You know what I mean? She's like, what the fuck doesn't Brayden deserve to be here? Yeah, she's saying all the wrong things and doing too much. I, I'm gonna have to talk to Tara again. But I'm gonna come in late. I'm gonna come, like, I'm not here to hammer anything on you, honestly, Tara. No, I'd love like, to just chill with you for a bit. We should play some chess. Get away from the game. What do you think? You down? Yeah. In a bit? Yeah, I'm down. Cause like, I'm honestly, man. Like, she's telling Tara that it's my HOH and I'm making every decision. I'm like, what? Who said that? Beth said that to Tara. Well, what? Me. Saying that this looks like Kiefer's HOH. The jury's gonna think this is Kiefer's move. 
I'm like, wait, what? How? Wait, what? This is crazy. It's honestly making it easy as fuck. I think she can see from the way people are acting, the way stories are lining up. We can see who's not telling the truth. People's backs against the wall, characters revealed. Tara. See how Beth is acting? <laughs> Do I need to go into more detail? <laughs> You're kidding me? She put you up. And now I want to talk a woman again? She helped Jed put you up too. So they sent home Tina, Vic. It's not about a woman. Yeah. Can't yeah, bring that out not. now when it's convenient. They just sent home two women in a row. Mm. And her whole, best whole thing about me was that I was pitching hard to get rid of Tara. Pitching hard. And that it wasn't for Beth, Tara would be gone right now. I'm just like, wait, what? Then how can I be the reason why Spicy's in the jury house right now? Because that's what they told Spice. That's what Beth said. Said I read her her resume, which I did. And I told Spice I did do that. Tara asked me about that. How did, like, what was the, like, what was the, it seemed like you guys were deliberating on it for a while. Like, who really wanted me out? And I'm like, no one, Tara. It's like, the reality is, I just wanted information. No one wanted you out. I, didn't, I don't go in there and throw people under the bus. No. I just tell you to look at the facts. Just, look, just like, like, read it for yourself. Like, like you how see? can Beth put her on the block with six spicy V after her? Like, <laughs> she did spicy, she was rubbing spicy V's back. Spicy B was going in on Tara. Yeah. She also sent home, her and Jen sent home her best friend in the game. And we're like laughing. You know what I mean? Like, what is Beth thinking? I just don't understand how she thinks. I've been thinking that too. They think they run the place and they got too comfortable. If you're sitting still, you ain't sitting pretty. Facts. Julie Vu. I do Julie Vu. <laughs> Miss you. Miss you, girl. Wish you were here still. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Could have been us. Oh, <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like, honestly. We got a shit storm coming time. I don't care. Bring that shit. Let's go. Let's go, baby. We're the setters now. <laughs> Just us. Jed's blinded. That's what love is blind, though. He's gonna be cheesed. He looked like I see heartbreak on his face, and I'm like, yo, you and Beth is better on the block. You really think she pulls you down, bro? Really? He's like, I don't know. I told him the same thing. I was like, I was like there's a higher chance that Ty would pull you down than, than Beth. Facts. Like, I was like, even if 2% of the shit Beth says, it's true about you, she cuts you. <laughs> Next time she has the chance. Like even if she's telling you she's saying this, she's saying it to everybody. You know, it's gonna get nasty. I haven't talked to Tara again before Knox. Do I have to? Probably should. No. Should I? Mm-mm. I don't think you need to. Me and Bray played our part. You played your part. Tara told Beth that she's gonna go up. She told Jed that he's gonna go up. My mind now are set, unless Jed works some crazy magic to get me, you, or Bray on the block. And Tara already said there's no chance that I hit the block doesn't, in any scenario this week. Doesn't make sense. Because I will fucking fight to keep Tara if she keeps me. Why not? Why not? Honestly, next week's HOH would be a great one. It would be the house versus Beth in a POV if she stays. Which would be crazy. <laughs> it's like, oh, have the tables turned, my lady. 
like she's like Cersei Lannister. Hmm? Oh, from Game of Thrones. Oh, I'm not gonna watch that. She, I don't know, man. Beth is just playing too hard, too sporadically. All these crazy pitches, so unthought through. Like, why would she say that to me? Like, get Britain and die to volunteer. And then, best case, Jed wins the veto, doesn't use it, then we have a big discussion. I love that she's going up because she has to beat us to, to come down. <laughs> I'd love to see that. She goes up, she has to beat us to come down. Including Jet. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just remember her face this morning when she told me I was going up. And I was like, like she was comfortable with it. That's why I was so bothered. I'm like, you look comfortable as shit. I saw her face just now. What did you say? I was like, whoa, I'm catered for myself, girl. It's a problem. That's all I'm going to say. I was like, it's final six. Like, I don't want to touch the block. I touch the block, I go home. I don't know. Did you play chess in 10? Hmm? 10 with D? You got to pee? Yeah, I will pee and then we can play. Is my water bottle down here? Yeah, I think that's yours. Um, veto right, delivery. Right, 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 right. Live oh, free. Oh, you gotta think of it. We totally couldn't remember. Humiliating. Like, actually humiliating. Oh, that's Kiefer in the kitchen. I was like, someone, I can see someone through the wall. <laughs> when we thought Jed was a production worker? Did we? You did. When you, when you walked into the kitchen. Pantry, don't you remember? Oh, and I was got, like, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I think sorry, my like, own what? <laughs> what? Did you imagine? Out just like that? I mean, like, Beth, I'm sorry, Please but. Please stop talking about production. Oh, but how? I don't know. We said that we thought Jed was production. He's like, I know, so stop. <laughs> I'm like, oh, but y'all can say I am. That's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so he is. Oh, wow, I just put this on that table, and that's how dusty it is. I've been thinking about how dirty this house is. Like, dust-wise. I know, I was staring. I was like, oh. Can you imagine I go walk in and kick Jed out? You should. Hey, sir. Can I have a moment? At least we'll say an hour. I'm too scared of him. He'll Jen. snap me in half. I respect him too much. I don't. To be like, get out, piece of shit. Fuck. You have a bad attitude. Yeah, I'm going to go say sorry. I'll be right back. <laughs> Walk lightly. Walk lightly. Walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's always him. I forgot about that. <laughs> Why are you mad at me? Because you're so annoying and I'm so annoying in this situation. So annoying. I love you. I love you too, girl. I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? For getting mad at you. It's all good. I just wanted you to trust me that I had her. Had her on what? Pitching Braden was never part of my plan this morning. Huh? Pitching Braden was never part of my plan this morning. You didn't tell me that's what we were pitching. I know, my but... My message was don't put me up. I don't know what Keeper's saying. Hmm? I don't know what Keeper's saying. None of us do. None of us really know. But my plan is to not be on the block. I know, but I wanted the plan to be that you couldn't cycle between the three of us in any capacity. She doesn't have to. Or for me to say Brayden's name and then expect Brayden to use the veto on me when I'm on the block after she hears that, after he goes and tells her that I'm saying his name, it doesn't make any sense. I know. Luckily, she's not talking to Brayden at all. And Brayden's not going in there, so just whatever. All I know is that if she puts you guys up, I win the veto, I pull one of you down, we get out of it. It takes two votes. That literally would be the fucking craziest thing. Jed needs to pay attention. That like if you're close. That's the best case. That's the best case. Oh, I'd be so happy. 
I think it's likely. You know and, what? and then otherwise, everybody else uses the veto anyways. I don't, there's a, there's a good chance that two of us are not sitting on there at the end of the week. Two of us have to sit there now, that's fine. You think Kiefer would use it? Hmm? You think Kiefer would use it? Yeah, I do. Did you just talk to him? Yeah, you do? I do. You just told you in the kitchen he would? Yeah. But he has to sell it like he's not going to, obviously. I think he would. Everyone's tricking her right now. Hmm? I think she's sick. <laughs> Everyone is trying to trick her right now. I know. She's very confused. So her head's probably she's hurt. She's probably for the best. She's what? She's probably for the best. But she's just like... Her head's hurting. She's probably getting a million stories a million miles. She's just like... I'm done going in my love. Whatever happens, happens. Same. Nothing more to say. I think, yeah. It's going to come down to the veto, and it always was, no matter who's on the fucking block. We just got to make sure that it's not two of us at the end. Two of us need to be voting. Hmm? Two of us need to be voting. Need to. Need to be. We get two voters, we're good. And we will. And then I will snap at her. I can't wait, Ty. She's so annoying. I know. I'm we... so mad she won this week. The room has a different tint. It's like there's different lighting. In the whole house. It's yeah, like the house dark. Here. <laughs> no. It is a funeral in here. When she said that, I was like, it is a funeral. Yes, it feels like it. You watch Harry Potter? <laughs> the woman slithered in his head mask? At least we loved Vic. I know. That was the difference. It was worse. <gasps> yeah, it burns. It burns me I up. I will just be so mad if any of us three walk out that front door. So will I. I kind of hope she puts me, well, I don't hope, but she puts me on the block, it'll just be like, we're done, Tara. You know? You have no vote this week. It doesn't even matter. You already put me up. You can't put me up again. Exactly. What more do you have to say to her? It's not like, you, she, you can say whatever you want after you're up. I honest. know. Because she goes home next week. She is she going can't home next week. Yes. No matter what she says or does. She can't do anything. That was the move. That's gonna be the move. <laughs> oh my god. We just gotta get through this. Huh? We just gotta get through this. There's noms today. Or did they change that because the screen's off? Well, it's when the power went off. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that's when it went off? Yeah. I just backdoored with the knee. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he's going. Literally right now. I'm back to the knee. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Should I go there? Can we just go? Whoa, easy there, man. <laughs> Okay. She's like, like, this is my last bit. <laughs> she's like, babe, they just called Every me hours. in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> my mind's fucking made up, bitch. All y'all, I'll just be like, listen, you know, me and Beth have you in this game. Realistically, if Beth leaves this week, like, they're all coming for me and you. This is everyone versus me and you. So, what's the plan, Sam? Yeah. You know, like, you have to think long term here, Tara. And then if she does say me, she'll be like, okay, got it. Yeah. She understands. Okay. Me pushing me like, don't the fucking do it. <laughs> Not me. She's like, don't you. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Okay, do you think that's what I should say? Do I push the keeper thing? You said say keeper's really sketchy, right? Should we? Everything's getting out. I just don't know to who. Oh, yeah, literally. That's why I'm like, do I even say anything? I'll read the room. Oh. Read the room. She's See what like, she says. Let her talk. Right? If she's like, if she's like literally there. just leaning towards me, just leave it. Okay. Because I don't want you to get yourself in danger. Just like, just leave she it. She goes, she walks out. Hey guys, Brayden's trying to pin you guys against each other. Oh my God. Ah! I'm like, good, 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 good. Okay, I'm going to go to OG. <clears throat> no one's in there, but. Oh. Everyone, I think, is in the Did Judge get called to DR, you think? No, he went to Expedia. No, he walked this way. He walked back. You don't see him? 
Oh, you really? He doesn't bite your breath, but he's just walking away. <laughs> Skipping away. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Anybody went in there? I was like, no, he was in there. And she's like, oh. she's like, okay, after Jed comes out, go in there. Jed is fine. Really? Of course he is. I he came, well, he came in at first, like, little. Of course. Agro. I was, like, really pulling the, like. They're all in the next video. He, he is convinced that if Ty wins, he will, Ty will pull him down. Of course he is. Like, of course he is. He's like, he's like, I'm just saying, like, before I kind of, like, mellowed him out a little bit. Mm. He was just like, I'm just saying, like, when Ty wins and pulls me down, you know, now you have three people gunning for you. And he's like, you're protecting somebody like Brayden who can't save you. Of course. And he's like, and he's like, he's like, and you know the keepers with the guys, so. And I'm like. Yeah, because they all just have a little powwow before you came out. Yeah. Just annoying to me. He ended up like kind of taking it well though, because I just, just beat his ego. Of and course. Like, you, can, you can take yourself off. Literally, Beth, like, oh, I hope she knows that like, What's it called? Like, if I win the veto, like, it's my HOH and I can do what I want. Yeah. I was like, anyways. She was pretty condescending when I talked to her. Of course. Of course. Like, even when she was like, she's like, of course I wouldn't have used the veto to save Jed. She's like, if I don't use the veto, then it's my move. It's my move to get out of yeah. Jed. And I'm like, it's my fucking HOH we're talking about. Yeah. That's how I was like, anyways. But, I mean, I'm sure if she does take herself off, she'll be coming with my like, best case scenario. Oh, I think 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah. 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 I genuinely don't think, like, Ty was even saying, he's like, he's like, for me, it makes no sense for me to use that. Like, genuinely. Yeah. Because he's oh, like... I think that he will, though. Like, they're like, Ty will win, and he will take off. And I was like, well, Ty, I didn't say it, but I'm like, Ty also knows that you guys have been talking shit, saying he can't win anything, so... No, is he, he winning something, or is he not? No, he's very, like, when we were in the old, like, he was talking, he's very hurt about like them being like, Ty, you have to go volunteer to go up. Yeah. He's like, what? Why do I? Jed knew nothing about that either. Hmm? Jed didn't know anything about of that. Of course. No, Jed told him to do it. Oh, okay, well then Jed was acting all, I was like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, no, honestly, I'm like, I've just heard like some kind of like sketchy things about Beth, like mm. conversations that we've had mm. by two people coming back to me, he obviously didn't say any names, mm -hmm. right? Um, I was like, I heard like that she had like Braden and Ty to volunteer so that I could backdoor you. Mm. Like I was like, apparently I was supposed to backdoor you this week. Mm. And he That's what you like, said to him? Yeah. Oh. And he was like, he's like, oh, first time hearing about that. Oh, that's false. No, because what's it called? Apparently the plan was to backdoor me. Yeah. But they told Ty that you and Brayden go up, we're gonna backdoor Brayden, that's the real plan. Yeah. But we'll tell her we're gonna backdoor Jed. But I know Ty was like very hurt because even Jet was like, yeah, Ty, you need to volunteer. This is like best case scenario for us. So you and Brayden go up. And that's why Ty's like, what? Yeah. You no. want me to go up over Beth? You're going to have to keep doing work with Ty, though. Oh, 100%. I've been like trying, 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 trying. And that's why he's like, it doesn't make any sense because he's like, listen, like realistically, if I don't use the veto. Yeah, the actual catches. He's like, yeah, if I don't use the veto, only one of them is mad at me and it's the one that goes home. Yeah. He's like, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you're right. It doesn't mean anything. So and like, they would still be mad at me, and they'd still be getting for whoever. I think they're. I genuinely think they're getting for you for. I do. Because like, like, he was literally just saying all these like, I did kind of call him on his shit a little bit. Because he was like, he's like, well, when like you know like, Ty uses the veto and we come down, like we're going to be pissed at you. And I was like, yeah, but realistically, if. You guys are all here anyway, in every scenario I'm going at. And he's yeah. like, yeah, but you're not going home. And I was like, yeah, but it's getting kind of low. I mean, I literally just used what he said about Tina. I'm like, yeah. I mean, you're not going to put up Ty, and you're not going to put up Beth. Yeah. So that leaves, I mean, if you have a boys thing with Kiefer, then obviously me and Brayden are going, going out. at. Regardless, at the end of the day. And he was like, oh, well, I mean, yeah, deals what can you be made. And I was like. For what, a week? I'm like, no, you, you guys made all of your deals already. Literally. Like they were saying that Kiefer is with them, and then like. No, we don't care about Kiefer. Of course. And that Kiefer's like running my whole HOH. Of course. Of course is what they think. But I was like, look, here's the deal. Like, you guys are going up, you guys both put me on the block. At this point, it doesn't really matter what you say. Literally. I'm like, 
I think Ty would be super pissed if I put him up. Mm -hmm. Brayden, I have no reason to make Brayden upset with me. Mm -hmm. And I'm not like, what am I going to do, Kiefer? Yeah. You should have taken out Kiefer. I'm not taking out Kiefer for you. That's the, they want you to do their bidding. Yeah, I'm all not season doing they've been wanting everyone else to do their moves, do their moves, yeah. do their moves. But they will for sure try to get through to Ty. Oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. But when I was on chatting Ty. with Ty, he like it sounded like he was down. I think he is. I for like a four with mm. us. I think because he knows that's his best case scenario. Yeah. Because you have to think in Ty's mind. His best case at winning is against me or you in the end. That's what he thinks. Probably for sure. Do you know what I mean? Like in his mind, he's like, oh, he's I not. know I'm not beating Kiefer. I'm not beating Jed. And most likely I probably will not beat that. Yeah. So realistically, my best options are Tara and Brayden to win yeah. to the end. Yeah. So that's where like I don't think that he would use that. Because again, then there's like the potential that you put me up and I go oh, home. I'm sorry, you, you can't there's no final three. It's a final two. Who is getting the chop there? Literally. That's what I'm saying. Like, why do they keep offering these things that are pointless? He did seem kind of, like, mellowed by the time he left, though. He was like, no, it's okay. It's all good. I get it. Yeah. We put you up. He's like, I'll talk to Beth. So she's not all, like, salty. I was like, honestly, I'm like, this all comes down to the veto anyway. Literally. The veto will be hell of Oh, that's the best. The best of the veto is going to be the most intense thing. <laughs> it will be. I was like, well, yeah, because we're all fucking gunning for it. Yeah. They underestimate you big time. I don't think that they should. It's just annoying to me. Because he did say that, and he's like, he's like, what? He's like, you think Brayden's going to protect you? Of course. So irritating to me. Even back when I was out there, she's like, go talk to her. And she's like, oh, by the way, like, I just mentioned to her that if she wants, like, someone to for sure go home to put you up, that's all I said. So if she brings that up. Or bring some other weird twisted thing that, you know, doesn't align with that. Just know that that's the only thing that I said. Yeah. And I was like, I'm sure you just said, oh, yeah, if you want someone to go home no. for sure, but Brayden, I'm sure it's all you said that. No, you were pissed that somebody <coughs> like Brayden oh, could it's... keep going further. And it's the way that they say this thing about you. They say, that's what I mean. I'm like, why am I going to put up Brayden when you, you treat us the same? Literally. They'll be like, Brayden, you really want someone like Tara. Yes. In the end, you want her to win twenty thousand dollars in the final two? Yeah. I'm like, what, what do you mean, someone like? What does that mean? What do you mean, someone like Tara? They say the same thing. Whatever, I'm sticking to it. I just want to. I'm like, I'm what does that even to mean? It, and I'm just like praying that Ty doesn't fuck me over. I don't think he will. I genuinely don't. I don't think. I just hope I win. Oh, and Beth begs oh me to God. use that, and Beth's gonna be like, "Bitch, you know, you're gonna use it on me." And then Kiefer's gonna go up and we're gonna make sure Kiefer goes home and we're taking over HOH. You and Kiefer winning would be great. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I did have to tell both of them, like, look, you guys gun for the veto. Mm -hmm. You can take yourself off. Of course. What else are you gonna say? Well, you're just trying to like be like damage control. Mm hmm. No, of course, because you never know. But that was even his thing like last week. He's like, I don't wanna tell anyone they're a target in case they come off. Yeah. And he's like, oh, good thing Tara came down because, look, she would have thought that I was gunning, gunning hard for her. I'm like, what do you mean? What I thought? would have went home if I didn't take myself off. So I'm like, what do you, like, really? I'm like, you really think that, like, she's that dumb? You would have kept me over Dina. I'm like, you really think that she's that dumb? Yeah. That she really doesn't think because you didn't say she was your target. They always say, do you want to go deep in this game or do you want to go home next week? Literally. Do you want to go deep or do you want to go home next week? I'm like, why are you threatening me? <laughs> Every time. <laughs> like, why do you act like you run the game? <laughs> Every time, we same just, thing. Come on. I just need, I just, Ty's got to stay legit. <laughs> I think he will. I think he's really, like, I genuinely think the fact, like, if Beth would have pitched the thing to him, I think he would have been like, whatever. But it's the fact that even Jed went up to him and was like, so you need to volunteer. Jed literally looked shocked. I was like, yeah, there was something about Ty and Brayden going up. I was like, I can't put up Ty and Brayden. Neither one of them have done anything to me. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, <clears throat> I didn't hear that. Not in Brayden, it be fake. <laughs> But he did the same thing. But when I, because I was like, I was like, yeah, something about like Ty and Brayden, like with the plan to backdoor you. What he did. And then he was like, oh. Yeah, he did the same thing to me and Austin. Me and Austin literally talked to Ro about using the veto. And then Ro was like, mm, I don't know, I probably won't use that. Yeah. And then, but in the bed, in the bathroom, they were like, use the veto. Like, you have to go talk to Ro to make him use the veto. You have to go talk to Ro. That's your guys. 
Is it my shell mounts? Mm-hmm. Well, do I have to stay away from you now? Don't care. Don't care. At all. <laughs> I don't care at all either. I love it. Everyone knows we have real feelings. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was like, what a compliment. <laughs> down this week? No. Why? You know why. No, you're fine. That was a tough con. Jen, I can't be big to her anymore. I've done it for too long. I don't I like her. I know. <sighs> I know. I'm not gonna be mean. I just don't, I don't have to talk to her anymore, right? No. You don't. After this? You really don't. I just, I'm, I'm gonna be decent because I don't want her to tie up. You what? I don't want her to put tie up. Yeah, exactly. That's the only thing. But once that doesn't happen, then you can just be ruthless. <laughs> I can what? You can be ruthless if you want. Once tie doesn't go up. Yeah. I don't know. She was pretty adamant on separating the trio this week. Mm, I don't know. Well, I don't know. She kept telling me, like... Pretty me? She, like, she told me, I don't want Beth going home on my HOH. I don't? Yeah. I know. I do want her to know she fucked up, though. Yeah. I feel like you shouldn't have did that, but... Yeah. And then she's like... She's like, there's a good chance I both of you guys stay this week. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Mm -hmm. Like, literally stop. Mm -hmm. Like, why isn't she just honest about, like, Dad, I want you to go. Mm -hmm. I've really been dying with you for you all season. Mm -hmm. She literally said to me in there, I will be so mad. Like, Jed needs to go on the mm -hmm. HOH. Mm -hmm. You need to win and put yourself off. Yeah. I uh, will. That's what needs to happen. Or tie. Me or Ty's gonna win tomorrow. If Ty won, that'd be fucking sick. I'd lose my mind. If he wins, I'm selling so hard in front of her. It's gonna be amazing. Even if I oh, win. in her face. Oh, yeah. And if in I win, face. I'm talking a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be like, good fucking try. <laughs> like, literally. Then she put Ty up, but we have to watch our mouths. Ah, yeah, you're right. If Ty wins, though, if, if oh. Ty wins, I'm talking shit. Oh. <laughs> like, like, hard. Like, yeah, you did a good move, because mm. it's really fun. Oh, that's kind of bad for Britain. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. He doesn't play the game. Yeah. Mm. But if time wins, I'm, I'm saying some dark shit. Oh, I'm so like, hope your 15 minutes of fame was worth it. Because you're going home next week now. <laughs> I just can't believe that she thinks she has time. Wow. Oh. Like, That's really funny. Like, we've, we've been playing this game with together. Like, you think you're not gonna piss him off? That's yeah. so fucked me. I know, it makes no sense. Like, the move itself makes sense. Like, she's just like, I have reasons for you too, and like, you both put me up, and I don't have reasons for anyone else, so why would I burn bridges? I know. I'm like, you know what? Fair. <laughs> we both put you up, we put you in a weird situation, that's fine. But, just, I'm just said, I just said, think about, make sure you just, you're keeping in mind yourself moving forward. 
Like only one of us can go. And then there's still three, three or four of them. Like there's only like four of us still. Like you know what I mean? I'm like, if me and Beth stay, you know Beth has Brayden. You know I have Keith. Still four on one. <laughs> I know, that's why I think her ultimate goal is just to split us up. Yeah. Because then she's the one who did that. Yeah, and then she goes home, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh my gosh, if Ty won. Holy shit, if he ran them fucking. It'd be like the one beat I'm ripping my shirt off. to win. I'm literally going to go like this. <laughs> to rip my shirt off. There's a great chance he does, so I think. happy for him, I know. I think me or Ty win tomorrow. Huh? I think me or Ty. Win. Or you, it honestly, like you, like, crazy. it doesn't matter, like, you. Most ideal, though. Like, it's if I look high. over and Ty is, like, right behind you or me, just let him fucking win. I know. Let him win. It doesn't even matter. I know. He deserves it, too. He does. I'm down. I <laughs> give him a big hug. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm so bitchy right now. Yeah, that's okay. He knows. I know. He just, I, like, literally walk in the room like this, and he's like, it's I okay. <laughs> We're just so mad at you and your attitude. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Jetson, please be my friend not for this. Yeah, she loves to talk shit about you, honestly. Oh, I know. She's like, Beth will cut you instantly. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. She doesn't know. She's like, it's because I've been hyping that up. I know. Like she thinks that's true. She's like, Beth is shady. Beth is this. She's been running around talking about you guys. It's just so funny that you know. I know. I thought the whole time I'm like, yes, I know. She'll cut me in an instant. She'll probably cut me this week. That's what I said. And I was like, she would cut me this week if you gave her the opportunity. And she's like, no, she wouldn't. She would take you to the floor and then cut you there. <laughs> she needs you. And I was like, why do I need her? What my argument was, like, let's say I literally did want to cut you, and mm -hmm. I did tell her this. I was like, Judson said he's winning everything from here on out. I was like, if I cut him now, it actually gives me way more of an opportunity to take you by myself. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I don't want to be taken. And then she's like, you're right. That's actually so true. Oh, I hate Stender. I love her. It's funny. It's just funny because he talks like she's so smart. But she's not. She's not smart. She knows nothing. That. That's great. It's okay. It's okay. It's no, okay. we're good. We're on again. <laughs> I, feel, I, I feel good about it. I, I, oh. I just like, honestly, that's what I kind of said to Ty. Like, I'd rather go straight up, because then I don't have to be like worried for Vito. That's what I said. Panicky, like I'm that's right what, there. So I just told her. Now you're worried. Now she is worried because if we win, she has to make another move. And yeah. Not, and piss off one of those three people she said she doesn't want to piss off. And it's kind of good because if Brayden does win. He'd be kind of maybe more iffy about using it against you too. He will use oh, it. Oh, he will use it. That's what I said. That's what I told Ty. I was like, man, if it's me and you, Brayden, I don't know if he uses it. But if it's Beth, 100% he does. So if he uses it. He could have been shit talking this whole game, but still. <laughs> I know, but he'll use it. He'll use it on you, which is the best. That would be fine. So that means any situation, the Vita will be used. And the Keeper uses it on you, are yeah. you sure? I think, yeah. I'm, I'm... And then when Ty goes up against me, well, I don't know. We just it's have to... actually pretty bad if Kiefer wins. I know. It's a little bit worse case if Kiefer wins now. I know. I know. But what's better, fucking Ty going up against me? No. I guess that's like pretty bad too. It goes like. Does goes... Kiefer know that it's worst case if he wins? Worst case. Um. Because if I win, take myself off. Break I don't know if he off. knows that. I don't think he cares. Like, I think he's just gonna go for it no matter what. Because he's just saying, like, at this point, because we yeah, I mean, just... He's like, secure yourself. So it'd go like, it'd go Braden, Keith. It'd go Braden, Keith. And then from there, it'd go like, obviously, probably like me and you. And then Ty at the time. And me or you, so it's literally the same. Yeah. But if Ty wins, then we are all making it to next week. If one of us wins, then. Definitely two of us are making it to next week. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's pretty much the situation. Oh, man. Ty needs to come through clutch here. Which would be huge. I hope he's just focused. Yeah. He I will. know he is. He will be. 
he's like. I feel like something so physical that he can like I actually know. do. I know. Well, I guess he did the sword. Yeah. They're so random. I know. Brain's been in there a long time. I just don't want to be like Brain. It doesn't matter anymore. No. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, like I floated his name out there, but like it doesn't really matter. I told him though. That I was going to? No, I told him. I was like, if we backdoor Jed or Ty, like, just so you know, before you go in there, I mentioned to Tara that I like you would go to put you out because it's guaranteed you don't go home. Oh, yeah. So if she says that, he's like, he uh, already knows. Yeah, sorry. Okay. It's fine. So what? He won't come out and be like, are you fucked? Yeah. No, it's better. I think it is better that it's me and you because then Brayden won't use the video. Whereas with Ty, I'm not sure if he would. If, yeah, with Ty. Because I honestly think, like, if you come down, like she said, like, if one of you guys come down, like, I'm open and have a conversation about moving forward. <gasps> oh, shit. Ow. Sorry. That really hurt, Dad. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> um, so we could, like, I don't know. <laughs> Potentially get Keith up there. Potentially. Besides me. Because then one of those two big tires go home no matter what. So, that's a conversation we could have. I can't believe I'm sitting beside you up there for our first time. It's like a nice date. Aww. It's our first date. First date on date the night block. out on the block. Date night on the block. Yep. <laughs> Big Brother, can you announce nomination time, yeah, please? Why is the TV change and everything? Because the power went out. Oh. Well, now we can just be together on cares. <laughs> exactly. I was going to do it either way. I don't care. I'm sorry I get snappy sometimes. I'm sorry what? I get snappy sometimes. Oh, that's okay. It just means you care. <laughs> Do I look good enough for the block? <laughs> yep. Glasses aren't doing it for me. Yeah, you like these things. Mm -hmm. I'll put shoes on. How's your uh, mother nature? Is it done? It's coming to an end. <laughs> Wait, big brother, can you give us a light show tonight, please? <laughs> for hours. <laughs> In place.